chiamo Rina e faccio il capriccio, va bene? Rina lives in Faenza. Her next door neighbor and best friend is Kiki, and they see each other every day. Grazie, <laughs> mia Today, Rina is making a rolled pasta dish called capriccio. She makes a dough using two eggs and 200 grams of zero zero flour. She divides the dough into two and kneads each until they are smooth. The dough has to rest for 30 minutes, so she places the two balls under bowls to stop them from drying out. Kiki, meanwhile, entertains Priscilla the cat. Rina makes the filling using 200 grams of sheep's milk ricotta, 150 grams of cooked spinach, which Rina has squeezed dry, 150 grams of Parmigiano cheese, which is 14 months old, one egg, plenty of grated nutmeg, and a pinch of salt. Rina mixes this all together thoroughly. Kiki is keen to celebrate the pasta with a glass of wine. She and Kiki are remembering Easter's from when they were young and farmers got their produce blessed. Allegria, ecco qua, ci mancano i bicchieri. Noi ci vergognavamo perché noi andavamo con questo sacchettino delle uova. Arrivavano i contadini là delle ceste così. Il vino, l'olio, il sale le torte, così, ve ne dicono così tanta roba. E noi ci avevamo un sacchettino delle uova, perché essendo di qua non, non si usava. Rina has an unusual way of making a bechamel sauce. She adds nutmeg and salt to three tablespoons of flour. Ma forse ce ne va aggiunta. Then pours in a little milk. She makes a paste with this and then adds more milk. In fact, she uses three quarters of a liter of milk in total. Rina heats this over a moderate heat to thicken it, only adding 30 grams of butter at the end. She says this way you don't get any lumps. Rina and Kiki collect basil leaves for the tomato sauce. Rina says shred, don't slice basil for better flavor. This is extra virgin olive oil. Rina uses tinned tomatoes as it's too early for good quality fresh ones. She buys whole ones to slice up as they are better quality than ready chopped tomatoes. She simmers them with the oil and basil without any garlic or onion. Rina rolls out one pasta ball into a perfect circle. It's a couple of millimeters thick. She cooks this in boiling salted water for two minutes. She plunges it into cold water to stop it from cooking. Rina pats dry the pasta, then makes sure it isn't wrinkled. She smears the ricotta over the surface, leaving a two centimeter edge. Ham is called prosciutto cotto in Italian. Rina places thin slices over the ricotta, followed by a layer of fontina cheese. Then she rolls up the pasta like a carpet. Rina spoons a layer of bechamel sauce into the bottom of a 30 by 20 centimeter tray. She sprinkles over some grated parmigiano. Then she makes two centimeter thick slices of the pasta. <laughs> She places these in a single layer in the tray, making sure they're a snug fit. Mettiamo, vedete che è? Hai visto che è venuta piena? Quella di Chanel. 
Sabrina spoon service and bechamel sauce. More parmigiana cheese and then lastly Dot's blobs of the tomato sauce. She doesn't want to completely cover the surface with the tomato. She bakes this in a hot oven for 20 minutes. Vale, ciao. 20 minuti. Vale. Tutto bene? Tutto bene. La pariccia è pronto. All that is left is for Kiki to enjoy it. Buon appetito! Click on the subscribe button for regular helpings of Pasta Grannies.